Here's the progress on the back. So these are firewood log walls I made. It's kind of hard to see in this video, but this is a slope that goes back. Maybe if I stand in the front, you can see more how that works. So like I said in the other video, um, underneath this dirt is like all my landscaping waste from like all the cut flowers. So just flower, you know, like flower stalks and stuff that I put underneath and then I put this dirt on top. Um, this dirt is not actually compost. Uh, Washington State University, which is like a big, has a big uh, research center for farms is near me and a bunch of companies gave them their leftover potting soil. So they were giving that out for free. So I grabbed a bunch. Um, if you find free or cheap dirt, uh, just really, really check the quality of it because um, free bad dirt is worse than no dirt. Uh, this one I knew was fine. It was just stores, didn't want to store it over winter. So here's the other bed on this side. This is a big path. I made it pretty big so I could bring a wheelbow and then here, and I'm going to just fill this with wood chips. So there's the existing dahlia field. I will eventually finish where that silage tarp is. And then I'm going to need to figure out some kind of border for up there. I'm trying to do this as cheaply as possible. So over here, I still need to do this line. Um, make a path here. I still need to finish filling in that Gamian wall with rocks. Um, I'm going to cover crop all this. I was rushing to get it done because so I'll have time to put in a cover crop so it can get going before winter. I'm probably going to do oats and peas because that will survive longer in our winter than like some other stuff. But that will keep weeds from growing. It will keep the soil from eroding and it will make the soil better. So by springtime, I should be able to cover it, kill off that cover crop. And then my current plan is that these are going to be more dahlia beds. Maybe for all my seedlings, um, I want to do a ton of dahlia seedlings next year. And this might not be a bad location for that. Um, or I might end up deciding to doubling my production and planting tubers. But anyway, um, if you have a space and you want to do and convert it for cheap, it is possible. Um, Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace are always a good option to look around for stuff. Uh, I've used old boards for borders. Uh, rocks work as borders if you live on a rocky location. Um, you could even use straw bales for borders if you wanted to, although I would definitely double check and make sure they do not have weed seeds in them and the fields were ideally not treated with herbicides. Although if it's a border, it might not matter quite as much, but you want to really do make sure that it's like the dried grass stalks and not, um, and it doesn't have like the hay seeds or whatever in them. Anyway, let me know if you have any questions. I'll post another video when I am done with this whole thing. Thanks for watching.